Tahti and I am back with my building series, well building series, which is LP. The interiors to the houses that you would have probably seen me build on part one. So these are the witches homes and we're gonna go straight to Agatha's house. So I actually left out the training school for witches. The reason why I left out the training school for witches is because it was pretty much identical to the first witch house that I did. So I thought, let's not bore absolutely everybody, right? Let's just get on with Agatha's house because let's be fair, that's what I would personally want to see. I mean, what's it like in Agatha's house? I think that Agatha's a very, very interesting character though. And I feel like I've made it so clear in my videos that I'm showing so much favoritism to Agatha. And I absolutely love her, I seriously do. And I don't know, I got really super attached to doing a house as well. I was like, oh my goodness, it just has to be perfect. It has to be exactly what I'd imagine it to be like. So it's gonna be a little bit creepy. It's gonna be a little bit traditional as well. Well, very, very traditional. Loads of books everywhere. And it's just got to look very, very ancient. And what I was going for with Agatha was the fact that she spends so much time practicing her magic. So a lot of the things that she'd have in her house would be really to do with skill building skills or just for decoration that would look like they have a purpose. So for instance, you see loads of animals like a random octopus there for like a spell or something. Yeah, you'd see that, maybe it's her pet because she doesn't really socialize with uh, humans very much, well witches actually, because none of them really socialize with humans. In fact, it's pretty against the rules to socialize with humans or uh, date humans or anything like that. So they really, really don't do that. And Agatha is really, you know, strict with that. And yeah, she doesn't really socialize with anybody because she's not very good in social situations, even though she would absolutely love to be, she would love to have friends and she just doesn't communicate the right way. She just doesn't bring her opinions across in the right way to people. So yeah, that's the storyline for Agatha anyway. I probably go into too much depth with these characters. Seriously, I feel like I spent so much time with these characters. I probably spend more time with the characters than I am spending with my own family at the moment. It's insane. But yeah, so anyway, I was doing the lounge now her house, I don't know how practical it's going to be to live in. It is really suited to the LP. I actually tested everything before I um, I actually uploaded it to the Sims 4 Gallery. And yeah, it will be on the Sims 4 Gallery along with the others. So if you do want to have it, of course, go ahead and you can go and create a town yourself because I know that some people are really keen on doing that. I mistakenly put a TV in. Mistakenly, is that a word? I don't know. But I did that. I put a television in. I was so stupid. Agatha hates television. She hates electronics. So I have no idea why I did that, but that will be removed. And she's just very traditional. So she actually prefers to read books and do her spells and learn skills, etc. So that's really what she does in free time. Anyway, this was the upstairs. So this is going to be her bathroom up here. And I thought making it just really small would be pretty good. Anyway, this was Agatha then going on to butter her bread in the kitchens. That was really odd. But yeah, so what I was actually doing was I was testing out the lights. That is really important. And um, if you're a builder like me, then you'll know how important it is to go into live mode. Maybe it's quite nice to see a little action shot of Agatha actually using a house. So hope you enjoyed that downstairs. But anyway, this was upstairs. So her bed is just really, really dark. It's all dark. She's a dark ancient witch and she's just gonna have a really creepy house. There are even trees or like leaves coming through the walls. That was actually a little bit on purpose. Now I know that there's gonna be some mixed opinions on that because not everybody likes it, but I really like that for Agatha. I think it suits her so, so well. And I love it because it's like, I don't know, the, the trees become part of the house after a while. I think I said that in the original um, witch's house, but anyway, this is the upstairs. So even though you can't get up here by staircase, they could actually teleport up here if they wanted to. Agatha will be able to potentially uh, teleport, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, this was Eve's home. Now Eve's house, I wanted to make it a little less witchy. I've actually made it so that Eve doesn't really have that many witch things in her home. And that is because Eve hates magic. She absolutely despises it, unlike her sister Agatha. Agatha is very, very much into her magic. Eve hates it. She doesn't want any magic things in her house. She just wants to live a normal life. Okay, fine, a house does not look normal, let's be fair. And she's not off to a good start, but I think that, you know, it's interesting. And I think that maybe it would look witchy on the outside to appear to the witches that she's doing okay. She's witchy like them or she's practicing and whatnot. But actually inside, she's just chilling out, watching TV and just doing her own stuff. And I thought that was really important for Eve because if I think about the sort of character that she is, I think that would really, really suit her nicely. 
So she does have some family portraits in. I would imagine Eve to be a very sentimental person, maybe with her past relatives. Now, Eve and Agatha's family have all passed away and they are very, very old. I mean, both of them probably around the age of 700 years old. That's what I'm going for at the moment. Yeah, 700 years old is pretty good. But the idea is that every single time Eve has died um, of old age, Agatha brings her back to life. So that is a little bit odd, of course. But I think that that really does suit both their characters because Eve would probably just want to live out her life as a normal human being, but she can't. She's not human. She's a witch. And Agatha is a little bit controlling and she likes to make decisions for her sister because her sister's younger and she doesn't feel like her sister is capable of making decisions. So anyway, this is Eve's home. Now, I thought that Eve was a little bit of an interior decorator when I started doing this house. I was like, I'm feeling this house. I would honestly live here myself. In fact, no, that is a massive push. I would not live here myself. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint everyone. I would not. I would definitely not live here. In fact, the house I would live in, if I was if I was a sieve and I had to live in a house, I would probably live in Spooksley Manor, as strange as that sounds. And I don't know, I just would. It's just my sort of house. And there is just no house like it in the world as far as I'm aware, because it's really old. But I'm actually gonna redo the speed build of that. It's actually gonna be Adam Fairwell's house and that will be really important for me to redo the speed build uh, audio. So it's up to date and I can really explain what's going on. So yeah, if you're looking forward to another mansion castle speed build, apologies if you've already seen Spooksy Manor, but it's really gonna be new audio and it will be me explaining about the LP and Adam and whatnot. And that will probably be coming out more or less at the same time as the Let's Play. So. Hopefully you will see that. Anyway, all the witches do have double beds, even though they're not gonna have anybody to share them with. So Eve and Agatha and Tartia and Elizabeth and Amelia, they cannot marry. And that's really, really sad. And it is sort of implied as well that they're not allowed boyfriends or any romantic relationships. I would absolutely love them to not have romantic relationships, as horrible as that sounds, but it just really fits into their characters. And the only reason I'm not saying that is because I don't know what The Sims is actually going to just program into the game randomly. So, I mean, I would be really annoyed, for instance, if I said Agatha is very, very much by the book, she likes to follow the rules, and then all of a sudden The Sims just programmed her to have a boyfriend who was just like a random person, and he was a human as well. So, yeah, I mean, that would be frustrating, but that's what I don't want to do. Anyway, this was the good witch Amelia's house. So we are now onto the wizard's home as well because the good witch Amelia lives with the wizards. And the idea is that she gives up her house every single year to house the wizards. She's probably a little bit sick of it, but she is a very, very good sim. Possibly too good. There's possibly something that's a little bit odd about Amelia. Maybe not all things are adding up at the moment. So we don't really know the whole story about her, but she is actually a very nice sim. She might have a few hidden secrets in the closet. Maybe her closet, I don't know. I have no idea. But it's going to be interesting because the wizards are going to be living on the second floor. And I do have a few plans for the LP and a few plans for Amelia, but you'll just have to find out. Of course, if you have any ideas of your own, I would absolutely love to hear them because I love your feedback. I absolutely love your contributions to my LPs and my storylines and stuff. So it's very, very helpful. Anyway, the downstairs of the house was very blue and it was really nice actually. I actually created two sims for Amelia because this is a really strange story. I created a blue witch, like a palish blue witch and she was supposed to be the good witch Amelia. But I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't really feeling her character. I was thinking, no, I want her to be very natural. I loved the idea of Amelia wearing no makeup and just being naturally pretty. And I really, really wanted that for her because I don't do that with Sims very often. It's very rarely that I do have just a Sim with no makeup on, unless it's a male. Usually males are without makeup, but sometimes put them with blusher and stuff. But yeah, I thought that would be really interesting to have just a natural Sim. And that's what I wanted to do for her because not everybody wears makeup. And I completely respect the people that can be confident enough not to wear makeup. But I wish it was one of those people. In fact, I've known people with absolutely flawless skin. And I could honestly say that I'm not one of those people. So that is why I wear makeup. <laughs> anyway, this was a little lounge area. So this is the area where the wizards are going to be socializing and they have a television. Now, of course, Agatha is completely against this and she would be very, very angry to find out that, of course, they were watching the TV. I'd like to imagine it would be that way and that is how I'm thinking about it. But of course, 
if Agatha ends up ever watching a television, I'm just going to pretend it's not happening. So yeah, I mean, Amelia is very, very nice to the wizards. She wants to make them feel at home because they are really going away from their family for a year, two years, however long they're staying for, because they could stay a maximum of 30 years. And of course, the arch wizard, which is Damien, he is going to be here for 30 years, or at least he has been here for 30 years, which is crazy to think that somebody has lived here for 30 years. And I don't know, that always scares me. Like, I love the idea of having like a family home. I probably change house about once a year. And that is because of my husband's job. He has to move around. It's really important that we do. And yeah, I have to move with him, of course. And I do. And that sometimes means that it's hard and I have to move country. But sometimes it's really nice as well to, of course, meet new friends and, I don't know, explore the different places. But anyway, this was the wizard's room. It's actually going to be a whole place of Amelia's house, which she just has converted for the wizards. And they do have a little football table there. I was trying to readjust it because I actually wanted them to be able to do something in the room which would be fun and would look very boyish, I think. But then again, I love football. I absolutely love football tables. Don't get me wrong, I actually hate football, but I love football tables. <laughs> it's really unfair though because my dad's really good at it. So he just absolutely slams the ball like straight into the goal. I'm just like, oh, I can't play. I just can't. I absolutely can't. But I'm very good at ice hockey as well. Not the actual ice hockey, but the hockey that you do with your hands and you go into arcades and do it. I'm pretty good at that, actually. I think that as long as you do it really, really quickly and hard, you just, you'll win. Like, it's just too fast for anybody to see. So that's how I do it. But anyway, this was the finishing off of the bedroom. I left it quite plain because I didn't really want to do much in there. I wanted it to still look like Amelia's house. And maybe in the end she will actually get like a proper usage out of that room. Maybe she could have like an upstairs kitchen or study. In fact, no, she's got a kitchen downstairs, but maybe like another lounge area or a dining room. I don't really know. The idea is though that the Sims are usually going to go for meals and dining at the secondary boarding house. And the witches and wizards mix with each other because I don't think I've actually mentioned that so far. It's going to be a massive thing that they mix with each other. They're actually supposed to partner up with each other and uh, eventually get married. So that is the idea with the witches and wizards. And it's just sort of witch tradition that that happens. But of course they don't have to. It's just that they'll be banished if they don't. So there you go. <laughs> but anyway, this was the top floor. So I thought I would give good witch Amelia her own floor. Now, I don't know if she would want to take up this much space. And I would maybe like it if I could have made the bed a little bit smaller. I would love more beds. And I keep saying that every single speed build now. So I've got to stop. But I think that if the bed was maybe a little bit smaller, that would be really good. But I wanted to make a double bed because we all like to know what's going to happen in The Sims 4. I have no idea, but I do think there's going to be some romantic relationships and things like that. So that is why I have just left everybody with a double bed. But anyway, that is the end of the speed build. So I really hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you all for the Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all soon.